Hello everyone, I'm Marina and that's a Grammel School. When natural nails are curling, a nail tech has got two choices. Do a nail repair or a regular gel coating. In today's video, I will share with you how to fix curling nails. Exciting as always, so let's get right into it. First, I apply this 3-in-1 dehydrating toner by option. It dehydrates, removes a tacky residue and disinfects the skin. So it's super convenient and it smells good. Let's take a look at the coating. Nails are curling, so this square shape does not look as sharp as needed. So I will remove this coating and do a nail repair. I'm using a purple drill bit. It works rather quickly and it has got a thin tip, so we can use it to remove the gel near the cuticle safely. Removing such vibrant colors as dark or black ones, I'm always glad that I have a built-in dust fan to clean up afterwards. Cause I used to have a desk fan and that was a nightmare. When I had to remove dark gel coatings, there was black dust all over the desk. So now I'm glad that there is little to none of it left. I polish the nail plate with a buffer, lifting up the nail scales, and removing all the gel leftovers. At first glance, my model's cuticle seems rather thin and simple. But once I got to it, I realized that there is lots of pterygium inside. So I need to clean it up well since if I keep it, the coating may peel off. So I clean up all the left sides in the forward position, then switch the rotation direction to reverse and process all the right sides. The cuticle is ready, so I can cut it with nippers now. Well, trying to make a perfect cut on camera is not a piece of cake. Because one needs to stay in a static position. But I did it. Now let's go over it with this brown silicone carbide polisher. It's pretty rough, so it nicely removes all the tiny hangnails. I touch up the inside of the cuticle too without touching the nail plate. Cause otherwise it will get all glossy, so the coating may peel off in the cuticle zone. Now I clean up the dust and dehydrate the surface. There is a black spot under the nail plate, so I just clean it up using nippers. For better bonding, I will use this product. It acts as a double-sided tape. It's a primer, so I apply a small amount as always. I do this first layer using a clear base coat by option. Just a thin layer with some volume near the cuticle. We don't need to build up or fix the architecture at this point. We just need a base. I'll be using this gels by option. This liquid gel is one of my all-time favorites. These gels are hypoallergenic and suit most of the skin types, including those clients who struggle with allergies. On the free edge, I'm using Acrogel. These Acrogels are liquid and self-aligning. I decided to use this white one for the sidewalls. This way I can form a smooth baby boomer gradient. In the end, you will see how soft and natural it looks. My task is to make sure that the side walls continue the natural nail. So I add the volume on the sides. With this step, we get a thicker layer that we can later file out 
to form an arch. And arch nails are both beautiful and strong. Now cure in a lamp, wipe off the tacky residue and file. Make sure not to file off all the aqua gel at this point though. We need to keep more on the sides. I'm filing it with a 180 grit file because it's a rather soft material. Now we need to file the natural nail out on the inside like this. Remove all the excess material. Use a thinner drill bit to reach deeper areas. Now clean up the dust and let's build up the cuticle zone by forming an apex and the architecture. First, we cover up the nail with a thin layer of gel so that a next drop could spread over it. So there is a hard material on the free edge that will both look beautiful and protect the nail. I make sure that there are no bubbles left by popping them with the tip of the brush. We don't need much gel here. Just enough to build up the cuticle zone. Using too much gel, we will ruin the baby boomer effect. We'll end up having a camouflage coating instead. Feel free to add something else here. We just decided to cover it up with a top coat. Do a medium aligning layer. Overall, I really like this particular nail shape. Not just a regular coating with a small C-curve. I love it that here, the C-curve and square shape are more defined. Share in the comments if you do a nail repair or just a regular coating. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I wish you all success in your work. Good luck! Bye-bye.